i so we are looking at which is another experiment of the solar geometry sets of experiment um the experiment is titled shadow study on any given day the experiment parts that we are going to require are here are set up here the first thing that we will be requiring for this experiment is the base panel here then um, we have the house components the scaled house components that we will be requiring for this experiment all of them here it it uh, includes the scaled house base scaled house roof different sets of windows different configurations of scaled windows um, that is scaled walls with windows and then there are also plain walls etc so this includes the whole set of uh, house components the scaled house components then there is also this base plate that we can see here this is the swivel base that we will be requiring also for this experiment then there is what is called a sundial which we will be using for this experiment to simulate um, different days of the year and then lastly we have the house pins which will be required to assemble the house so the objective of this experiment is for students to understand how the shadow profile of a building moves throughout a day or on any day so how does a as a shadow how does a building uh, cast its shadow in on its surrounding which might also help in the whole microclimate design in the architectural realm and by performing this experiment should, students will have a long term understanding or a visual understanding of the shadow profile of the building on uh, any day so that's that's what we are looking at to get from this experiment so we are looking at the assembly of this experiment to start the assembly first i will take the base plate here i will assemble this swivel base on the base plate so I, there is a slot provided i can just slide it in the slot here and here you can see there is another slot that is provided on the swivel base which we will match with the slot provided here so on the empty side we will just slide it and make sure that this is parallel to the table okay once this is complete we will start assembling the house we will take the base we will keep the base such that the base is inside the circle that is provided here once this is done we will <clears throat> take one blank wall so we have taken here i have taken two uh, walls with windows and two plain walls or blank walls we can take any configuration that we want from the uh, windows provided we will make sure of two things top bottom top parts goes on top bottom part part goes on bottom and grid uh, the the side with grids uh, need to be outside so we will assemble accordingly so to assemble just we'll make sure that this notch here that no notch that is provided here goes inside the hole that we have here okay so this side is done we will take a clip and see whether there is gap here or not if there is gap we will uh, put this clip such that there is an extra uh, um, extrusion on the uh, on the side here if there would have been no gap here this side of the clip would have been put and here you can see there is no further extrusion so to make 
make up for this gap here we'll provide we'll put clip like this i'm taking another wall I'm putting it I'm matching it again same procedure I'll repeat there's no gap I'll make sure that the assembly has no gap here I'll take another window these are three sides done I'll take two more clips the fourth wall the clip and the assembly the walls and base are done and we'll move to the roof so the roof part that is written comes on top and it matches all the holes the house is assembled on the base once this is done i will take the sundial and the sundial needs to be always matched with the latitude of the place here you can see there is a notch i will shift it to the latitude that i am currently in that is pune which is around 19 degrees i'll match it with the south and this is where my sundial will go this is the assembly of this experiment so we are looking at the uh, procedure of this experiment now uh, to start the procedure i have aligned the north of this base to the north i have also set the orientation of this house here the scaled house and the third thing that i have done is i have set the sundial according to the latitude of the place where i am conducting the experiment uh, i have set it as 19 degrees which is the latitude of pune where we are doing this experiment and so today is uh, 20th december at around 11 am in the morning we have to look at any other day of the year let's say we take uh, 20th august um, at and 11 30 am um, so we we can simulate the shadow of this building on that day at that time to simulate that day and time we will first adjust this base according to that day and time using sundial which we are just going to look at uh, from the close up so we are adjusting the the sundial so that we get this day and time of the year So approximately this is 11 a.m. on 20th August. Now if you look at it from this side, this is the shadow profile of this building that we will getting for this dimension of the house on this date and time now to so first we'll have to measure this shadow profile <coughs> we'll use a protractor and just place it to note down the angle of the shadow here so the angle is approximately 29 degrees 
this this angle here is 29 degrees and we will also measure the length of this the shadow this length of the shadow is 50 57 mm from this side and from this side the length of the shadow is 70 79 mm once we have noted down the angle the shadow angle uh, and the values of <coughs> both both sides of the shadow what we can actually simulate is if this would have been an actual building with different uh, dimensions so this is currently a 200 by 200 by 200 mm cube uh, if it this would have been an actual building with whatever dimensions of a building or a structure we can uh, we can get through our design we have to just um, extrapolate or or just um, cross um, cross multiply the values of 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 uh, the these values with the actual building dimension so once we compare these and scale that shadow uh, shadow length up we will get the shadows of an actual building so this will help us in getting a visual understanding of the the shadows of the building um, that that we will be designing on that day and in that time to play around with this we can change the orientation of this house we can change the dates uh, on the sundial and we can get different shadow profiles uh, for different dates just one thing to keep in mind about this whole setup is that this setup here that we can see has its limitations uh, uh, because we can't go beyond a certain point in its tilt so we can't tilt it beyond a certain point if we if we would have done that this would have all fallen off so since we have that physical limitation we cannot practically simulate all the so we are adjusting the sundial uh, based on the date that date and time that we have selected uh, 20th august at around 11 11 am so as you can see this line here this is to august 27th just before that we have taken 11 am so it will be approximately 27th august now we have to look at this shadow profile of the building you can see if you can see from here uh, you are getting a shadow of this side till here and of this this side from here you are getting shadow till here now what we'll do is we'll measure this shadow for this house we will first measure the angle of the shadow with the help of mm, the protractor here so this shadow is approximately 34 degrees This angle is 34 degrees and the other thing that we are also have to measure is the other angle, the other angle of the other edge that is. So measuring the angle of the other edge, this is approximately 57 degrees. So this angle here is 57 degrees and this angle here is uh, 34 degrees. Now the next thing that we are measuring is this length here this shadow length it will be the shadow length here is around 44 43 mm sorry 47 mm and this shadow length here is around 74 mm 74 mm the shadow length so this will give us an idea of the shadow lengths and shadow angles for this dimension of house which is a 200 by 200 by 200 cube 
uh, on this date the shadow angles and the shadow lengths that we have just measured is for this house which is a 200 by 200 by 200 mm cube uh, structure uh, and this is the profile we can also draw this profile on the paper um, using simple pencil and scale and protractor uh, if we have to estimate what would be the shadow lengths and shadow angles um, for an uh, for a building we just have to scale the dimensions of this house to the actual dimensions of the building which will give us these lengths these these we just have to also scale these lengths and these shadow lengths will give us the actual shadow lengths of an actual building this whole experiment will give students an idea of the shadow profile of a building of an actual building uh, by through uh, this setup here we can now play with the orientation here uh, we can change the orientation and see what is the impact of um, of orientation on the shadows and the other thing that, that we can change is the date that we have chosen here we can choose another date another time and see what is the impact of the shadow um, uh, impact of of the change of date time uh, on the shadows so this is the experiment